Hello, hello. My name is Miss T. Arrow or Miss T. Arrow, and I decided to, to mesh my love of reality television shows with my love of tarot cards and reading the cards. So I decided to do a cast assessment slash prediction of the contestants, the male contestants for The Bachelor, Bachelorette this new season. So um, I'm going to ask each the cards, each of about each suitor. So first, what they're like as a person, um, what their relationship is like with Becca, whether or not they're on the show for the right reasons, if they make it to hometowns, or um, and if they're going to be um, at the end, the final two, and receive the final rose. So let's see what happens. Our, we are on Connor, I believe. So Connor is 25. He's a fitness coach. He's from St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, he graduated from the University of Tampa and health and fitness is his number one priority. So let's see what the cards have to say about Connor. So what is Connor like as a person? What's Connor like? Hmm. So the Queen of Pentacles. So upright, this card is um, about abundance and uh, very loving and very kind, compassionate. Um, and it's a pentacle. So it's like she is also really secure in her material world. Um, but it's reversed. So that means that this energy is blocked. So it would tell me that maybe cold to... Or, Connor is not yet financially stable and also uh, does isn't really open with his emotions that much. Um, it seems like that energy is blocked. So it could be because of his age. He hasn't um, had a lot of emotional relationships yet. Um, he may I just don't know if he is ready, um, according to this card, for um, a really strong, a deep relationship connection. Um, it doesn't seem as though he's financially stable yet, or as stable as he would like to be when he would get into a solid, solid relationship. And it doesn't seem as though he's emotionally ready yet. So what is Connor and Becca's relationship like? Another court card. So it's a king of swords in reverse. So upright, this king is, um, he's cold. He has no emotion. He's all in his head. Um, but this card's in the reverse position. So blocked card, or position, cards that are in the reverse positions are usually blocks, I would say, either internal or external. And in this case, um, if we're talking about the relationship, I feel like it's going to be uh, an internal block uh, seemingly on his part. Um, I feel as though... It's like, I feel like he's not able to connect with her in any sort of way. Um, he's not able to really have an emotional connection with her. He's not really able to, it doesn't seem as though they have a physical connection. And it doesn't even seem as though they have anything to say to one another. This is a card of intellect and that energy is blocked. So it just seems like they're energy is isn't isn't matching in any sort of way it just doesn't seem like they are lining up here and there it's just it just doesn't seem like it's uh ease and flow it seemed like it's quite a lot of blocked energy um so is connor on the show for the right reasons is it connor? i think it's connor who i'm talking about yeah connor is connor on the show for the right reasons He's probably there to get some more Instagram followers. I don't know. Uh, another blocked or, or reversed card. So this is the High Priestess. And High Priestess um, is from the Major Arcana, which is, you know, generally depicts life's major immense changes. So this is kind of like a, a big thing. And it's um, reversed. So I would say that... The high priestess was sorry. Well, upright. This card is like about connecting with your higher self, your inner, your inner thoughts, your divine self, your your you know universal consciousness. About being connected in that sense, and it's reversed. So he's blocking that. So, I would say that he probably got the inkling to maybe not go on the show. And he decided to do it anyways. Um, it doesn't fully say that he's on the show for the wrong reasons, but it seems as though um, 
in you know going on the show he didn't trust his instincts or he didn't allow for his instincts to to fully guide him so if that being on the show for the wrong reasons maybe being that he's not necessarily going to meet his um ideal partner maybe that's the wrong reasons but it seems as though he's not listening to his intuition here and in, in regards to coming on the show and yeah so maybe something maybe something bad's going to happen or like some part of his personality is going to come out and he's going to get some negative publicity or something i don't know will he make it to hometowns mr connor I would say no. So this card is kind of like about anxiety and uh, depression and in your head and nightmares. And uh, it seems as though he's not going to make it there. It does. It's not a. It's not a card of ease and flow or, or building a relationship or you know putting someone on a pedestal. It has nothing to do with that. It's kind of like it's it's a, a nightmare. So I would say nightmare doesn't mean moving forward to the hometown, in my opinion. And, oh, and also nines are um, completion or ending. So uh, it seems as though their relationship will end before they get to hometowns. And then lastly, will um, Connor be the final suitor? Will he get the rose? No, he's gonna put in the work up until that point, but he's not going to be successful. This card is about toil, not seeing the fruits of your labor. Um, it's like he's gonna put in, he's gonna put in some work. Um, it doesn't seem like he's able to have an emotional connection or even an intellectual connection with her. He doesn't seem to listen to his own intuition or you know divine guidance. Um, but he's still trying hard to be there. He's tr maybe trying hard to. This card could also be like pretending to be someone that you're not. Um, you know getting in your head like just it just seems as though he's going to be trying really hard to be maybe the person that she wants him to be and that work is not going to uh, be it's not going to get him the girl in the end they are not a match in my opinion so i hope you enjoyed this assessment of connor's game or his relationship with becca and i will see you with the next contestant so you want to subscribe over here Boom, boom. Or you can find me on Instagram at Misty underscore Arrow or Reality Realness with three S's. Share this with your friends, either your reality TV lovers or your tarot lovers. Bye.